Elements and Functions of Digital Logic Elements of Digital Logic In our daily life, we make many logic decisions. The term logic refers to something which can be reasoned out. In many situations, the problems and processes that we encounter can be expressed in the form of propositional or logic functions. Since these functions are true slash false, yes slash no statements, digital circuits with either two state characteristics are extremely useful. Several logic statements when combined form logic functions. These logic functions can be formulated mathematically using Boolean algebra, which is a system of mathematical logic, and the minimal expression for the function can be obtained using minimization techniques. There are four basic logic elements using which any digital system can be built. They are the three basic gates not, an and or, and a flip-flop. In fact, a flip-flop can be constructed using gates. So, we can say that any digital circuit can be constructed using only gates. In addition to the three basic gates, there are two universal gates called NAND and NOR. They are called universal gates, because any circuit of any complexity can be constructed using only NAND gates or only NOR gates. In addition, there are two more gates called XOR and XNOR. We will learn about the characteristics of these gates and flip-flops in the later chapters. Using logic gates and flip-flops, more complex logic circuits like counters, shift registers, arithmetic circuits, comparators, encoders, decoders, code converters, multiplexers, demultiplexers, memories, etc. can be constructed. These more complex logic functions can then be combined to form complete digital systems to perform specified tasks. Functions of Digital Logic Many operations can be performed by combining logic gates and flip-flops. Some of the more common operations are arithmetic operations, comparison, code conversion, enuting, decoding, multiplexing, demultiplexing, shifting, counting and storing. These are all discussed thoroughly in the later chapters. The block diagram operation is given. Arithmetic operations The basic arithmetic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The arithmetic operation of addition is performed by a digital logic circuit called the adder. Its function is to add two numbers add end, A, and OJ end, B, with a carry input, CI, and generate a sum term, S, and a carry output term, CO. It is a block diagram of an adder. It illustrates the addition of the binary equivalents of A and 6 with a carry input of L which results in a binary sum term 5 and a carry output term L. The arithmetic operation of subtraction can be performed by a digital logic circuit called the subtractor. Its function is to subtract subtrahend, A, from menuend, B, considering the borrow input, by, and to generate a difference term, D, and a borrow output term, BO. Since subtraction is equivalent to addition of a negative number, Subtraction can be performed by using an adder. Figure B is a block diagram of a subtractor. It illustrates the subtraction of the binary equivalent of 3 from the binary equivalent of 8 with a borrow input of L, which results in a binary difference term 5 and a borrow output term 1. The arithmetic operation of multiplication can be performed by a digital logic circuit called the multiplier. Its function is to multiply multiplicand, A, by multiplier, b, and generate the product term, p. Since multiplication is simply a series of additions with shifts in the positions of the partial products, it can be performed using an adder. Figure 2a is a block diagram of a multiplier. It illustrates the multiplication of 6 by 4, which results in the product term 24. The arithmetic operation of division can be performed by a digital logic circuit called the divider. Division can also be performed by an adder itself, since division involves a series of subtractions, comparisons, and shifts. Its function is to divide dividend, A, by divisor, B, and generate a quotient term, Q, and a remainder term, R. Figure 2B is a block diagram of a divider. It illustrates the division of the binary equivalent of 30 by the binary equivalent of 4 which results in a binary quotient term 7 and a remainder term 2. 
Encoding Encoding is the process of converting a familiar number or symbol to some coded form. An encoder is a digital device that receives digits, decimal, octal, etc., or alphabets, or special symbols and converts them to their respective binary codes. In the octal to binary encoder shown in Fig A, a high level on a given input corresponding to a specific octal digit produces the appropriate 3 bit code, ABC, on the output levels. The figure illustrates encoding of the octal digit 6 to binary 110. Decoding Decoding is the inverse operation of encoding. A decoder converts binary coded information, ABC, to unique outputs such as decimal, octal digits, etc. In the binary to octal decoder shown in Fig B, a combination of specific levels on the input lines produces a high on the corresponding output line. The figure illustrates decoding of the binary 110 to octal digit 6. Multiplexing Multiplexing means sharing. It is the process of switching information from several lines onto a single line in a specified sequence. A multiplexer or data selector is a logic circuit that accepts several data inputs and allows only one of them to get through to the output. It is an end-to-L device. In the multiplexer shown in Fig A, if the switch is connected to input A for time TI, to input B for time T2, to input C for time T3 and to input D for time T4, the output of the multiplexer will be as shown in the figure. This figure illustrates a 4 to L multiplexer. Demultiplexing Demultiplexing operation is the inverse of multiplexing. Demultiplexing is the process of switching information from one input line on to several output lines. A demultiplexer is a digital circuit that takes a single input and distributes it over several outputs. It is a I to N device. In the demultiplexer shown in Fig B, if the switch is connected to output A for time TI, to output B for time T2, to output C for time T3 and to output D for time T4, the output of the demultiplexer will be as shown in the figure. The figure illustrates a I to 4 demultiplexer. Comparison A logic circuit used to compare two quantities and give an output signal indicating whether the two input quantities are equal or not and which of them is greater, is called comparator. Figure shows the block diagram of a comparator. The binary representations of the quantities A and B to be compared are applied as inputs to the comparator. One of the outputs, AB, A equals B or AB goes high, depending on the magnitudes of the input quantities. The figure illustrates comparison of 8 and 4, and the result is high, 8 4. Code conversion A logic circuit used to convert information coded in one form to another form is called a code converter. Figure shows the block diagram of a BCD to XS3 code convener. The figure illustrates conversion of decimal digit 6 coded as 0110 in 8421 BCD form to 1001 in XS3 form. Storage Storage and shifting of information is very essential in digital systems. Digital circuits used for temporary storage and shifting of information, data, are called registers. Registers are made up of storage elements called flip-flops. Figure A shows the shifting or loading of data into a register made up of four flip-flops. After each clock pulse, the input bit is shifted into the first flip-flop and the content of each flip-flop is shifted to the flip-flop to its right. Figure 1.8b shows the shifting out of data from the register. Counting The counting operation is very important in digital systems. A logic circuit used to count the number of pulses inputted to it, is called a counter. The pulses may represent some events. In order to count, the counter must remember the present number, so that it can go to the next proper number in the sequence when the next pulse comes. So, storage elements, i.e. flip-flops are used to build counters too. Figure A shows the block diagram of a counter. Frequency Division a counter can also be used to perform frequency division. To divide a signal of frequency F by N, the signal is applied to a mod N counter. The output of the counter will be of frequency F slash M figure B shows the block diagram of a frequency divider. Data transmission 
One of the most common operations that occurs in any digital system is the transmission of information, data, from one place to another. The distance over which information is transmitted may be very small or very large. The information transmitted is in binary form, representing voltages at the outputs of a sending circuit which are connected to the inputs of a receiving circuit. There are two basic methods for transmission of digital information, parallel and serial. In parallel data transmission, all the bits are transmitted simultaneously. So, one connecting line is required for each bit. Though data transmission is faster, the number of lines used between the transmitter and the receiver is more. This system is therefore complex and costly. On the other hand, in serial transmission, the information is transmitted bit by bit. So, only one connecting line is sufficient between the transmitter and the receiver. Hence, a serial transmission is simpler and cheaper, but slower. The principal trade-off between parallel and serial transmission is therefore is one of speed versus circuit simplicity. Figure A shows parallel data transmission of 8 bits and figure B shows serial data transmission. Hope you have gained from this discussion. Thank you.